Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day two of Art Impressions Week here at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the Office Party stamp set. This is part of their kind of clear line of stamps where it's just the stamp set. It's not like a project-based type kit. So I'm starting out by cutting my card base. This is going to be a one layer card and I'm using some Nina Environmental Desert Storm cardstock. This is the 80 pound version. Now normally I would do a card base out of the 100 pound version of this cardstock. However, I didn't have any full sheets. All of mine were trimmed down to a smaller size and I wanted to create a five by seven card at first. So I cut it down so I could fold it into five by seven. I scored it at five inches. And then when I started to stamp the images and putting my card design together, I realized that I probably could have gone with a slightly smaller card. So the finished card size, we'll get to that in a minute, but for now, I'm going to stamp the really large image from the stamp set. This is the one with the girl sitting at her computer desk. And I'm stamping that in some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm going to do some colored pencils for the coloring on today's card. And I kind of really like VersaFine inks with the colored pencils. So I'm going to take that balloon image from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp it onto a little piece of masking paper. I'm actually going to stamp these balloons on masking paper twice because I eventually want three balloons on the card and I need a mask for the first two and then I'm going to cut just the full balloon out of the second mask. And that's just so I can have an odd number of balloons sitting at the bottom of this card. You don't have to have an odd number of balloons, but I thought it would just look nice to have an odd number. That'd be easier. So I'm using the Everyday Greeting stamp set from Concord and Ninth for a really big greeting off to the left of the main image. And I'm just getting my spacing just right. I want the balloons to kind of intersect that last word in the greeting. So I'm getting my balloons in just the right spot and then I'm going to stamp the balloon separately. I'll come back to that greeting here in a minute. Once again, I'm using that same ink, the VersaFine Onyx Black, and I'm gonna stamp one the one set of balloons, and then now I'm going to stamp a third balloon. And this time when I stamp the balloon, I'm going to have to kind of omit the balloon that's in the back, if that makes sense. So I'm getting the balloon in the right spot, and then I'm going to place some post-its just over the main portion of the balloon, just so I don't get ink on it. And I'll go ahead and press my ink pad down to that. And then anything that kind of still is on the stamp set, I can kind of wipe off with my fingertips. Using the VersaFine ink, which is a pigment ink, lets the ink stay wet on the stamp a little bit longer, so it gives you time to work with it. I've got my mask of that third balloon there, and I'm positioning my greeting. So I'm going to use that same ink color so all the ink matches. And I love this one for big solid images because it's a, a really kind of thicker ink. And if I need to, I can stamp this twice because I'm using my Misty stamp positioning tool. But luckily, just one stamp was perfect for this. So I'm going to remove the masks and you can see how it looks like those balloons are sitting in front of those large words. So at this point, or actually it was a little bit earlier than this, I realized that my card base was too big for my card design. So I'm going to trim it down and the finished card is actually about four inches tall by six inches wide. So it's about four by six. And I really thought that that was a good dimension for this card. Now it should still fit inside an envelope for a five by seven card, or you could make your own envelope. I'm going to use some colored pencils from Faber-Castell. These are their polychromos pencils and they're nice and creamy. I really like to color with them. I'm going to mainly color in all the areas that I want and then I'll bring in some of the white colored pencil to add a little bit more highlights in. Also makes the image kind of look like it's glowing. So this card is all about the coloring. So I'm going to speed up the video and turn on some music and I'll catch you guys when all of the coloring is finished. You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't for the first 
coloring is complete and I really love how this turned out. Adding those little pops of white really brings this entire card to life. And just if you were curious, the coloring took about 30 minutes altogether. And that finishes the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and this gave you uh, an idea of what to do with this stamp set. I will be back tomorrow with day three of Art Impressions Week. I hope you'll join me. And until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.